Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. In this video, we're going to look at D and D is for domains. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so domains are really important when it comes to your marketing and basically taking the domain that you have, so that's if you think about your website address, that is your domain, you have emails that you send your marketing from, those are the emails that are tied to that domain and in order to authenticate, we basically need to do a couple of things in order to get that up and running. So authenticating the domains is important so that when somebody receives an email from you, if it hasn't been authenticated, then it could be flagged as spam. It could go to somebody's junk folder and maybe people just won't even get your messages. So we need to make sure that we're doing that. Okay, so it's also important because we need to tell your uh, marketing environment that you actually own the domain that you say you own. So if we navigate to the settings area and then go to domain authentications, you'll have one already set up and that is for the um, marketing domain that comes with your specific environment that yes, you can have landing pages on a portal and so on. Most customers, most people that I've worked with um, are going to want to actually set up landing pages on their own website and actually embed those forms on that website. So. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and add a new domain. So let's say that I want to put in the domain for the podcast that I do with my friend, fellow MVP, Lisa Crosby. I might want to put the up podcast.com. So once I've put that in, I just need to go ahead and save this. Now, what's going to happen is we are going to get some information that we need to then put into our DNS area for that domain. So this is typically something that your website administrator would be able to do, and it's going to be things that they should probably already be aware of and understand. We've got two things. One is the ownership authentication key that's been generated. And then we have two things that are for email authentication keys, and that's for something called DKIM. So that's back to what I was saying before in terms of making sure that your emails are not flagged as spam or junk. It's basically telling the person that receives your email that that email can be trusted and has truly come from you and hasn't been spoofed. It hasn't been um, some kind of malicious act where somebody else is trying to send it on behalf of you. So this is why these two pieces are important. Now, what needs to happen is the website administrator or again, someone that has access to your DNS records can take that and go ahead and set those up. So check with them in order to do this. What then has to happen is once those have been set up, you can come back in here and you can click this button at the top that says confirm. It basically then will say your DNS registration confirmation is complete. What's happening is it's going out to wherever your um, uh, domain is, is actually set up and managed and it's checking to see if that's accurate. We can then refresh and then what you should see is that the ownership status has been confirmed and that the email status has been confirmed. So until you've done those things, you could confirm the ownership and not confirm the email status. But again, that is where you're going to run the risk of actually being um, uh, your emails coming through as spam or junk or potentially being blacklisted. So you need to make sure that you're doing it for both ownership and for email authentication. So it's as simple as that. Once you have this set up, then you'd be able to start sending emails out from your specific domain and making sure that those emails can then be seen by your customers as being trusted and actually know that they are from you. So very important, D is for domains. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't wanna miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.